viewer and welcome back to our history. Uh, we are still on uh, uh, electrical installation and in specific we are on uh, uh, code with PVC code with wiring system. Uh, in the last session uh, we did uh, how to make a 90 degree bed or uh, what we are referring to as a, a, a site made bed and now we want to see how we can, we can make an angle bed. An angle bed. For you to make an angle bed, one, uh, you must use something that can guide you to make the angle. And uh, for that purpose, we use this. This is known as a spirit level, whereby you can choose the angle that you want to uh, actually make. Now, if I want to make maybe uh, 60 degree, what I'll do is I will first of all uh, make sure that I make a straight uh, line. Make sure the, the line is perpendicular. Like so. Then tilt my adjustable uh, spirit level to the angle that I want. Like now, if I want an angle that is uh, maybe uh, 45, come and uh, do uh, 45. And just to 45, and then I'll come on here and do that. So what will happen is that this angle here will be forty five degrees. So if I want to make uh, 45 degrees, then it means that uh, the angle here on my code width will be 45 uh, degrees uh, and with the, from here to here will not be 45 because uh, a straight line has 180, so it is going to be 180 degrees less 45 degrees. And uh, I'll get one thirty-five degrees. So one thirty-five degrees is what uh, I'll need to uh, make so that I do uh, forty-five uh, degrees as uh, we have seen. Uh, the procedure is the same. Just insert back your code, your bedding spring to the uh, code width, and then you try to bed. Here, when you are bedding, you don't need to, you can't bed like when you are bedding a, a 90 degree, so you don't need to make uh, a 90 degrees bed, so, but uh, you have to adjust uh, your bedding so that uh, you cover the angle that you want to make. And uh, with that, I have made uh, my angle here. Made my angle here. And of course, uh, it is 45 degrees uh, to the perpendicular. And looks like that. Uh, but of course, uh, if it doesn't uh, look uh, very accurate, then you can insert back your bedding spring and try to bed just a bit so that uh, you get the result that you want and uh, I think that is that's good and I have my bed that uh, I wanted so uh, that's what uh, needs to happen so of course uh, when we are making these uh, argos and the site uh, made bed uh, we, uh, we will be doing them on uh, the site where we are working and uh, they must be very accurate otherwise uh, they might look something that is very 
ugly and we don't want our work to look ugly. So we want our work to look very neat. So if we have been given angles, uh, we have to struggle and we must produce uh, the angles as stated. Otherwise, uh, we might produce some work that might not be very presentable to the client and we don't want that. We want work that uh, looks good uh, and uh, also looks good to the client or the customer. So uh, that's how we make uh, an off, uh, uh, a site made bed and an angle uh, bed that we have. Other than, the, other than these two, uh, we can also make something that is known as an offset. Uh, we can make an offset. And uh, we have two types of an offset. Uh, the first offset uh, may look like this. Uh, I can make such an offset. And this could be when we are fixing uh, something that is raised, be it a CCU whereby it is raised, or be it uh, any other thing that could be raised. So in such a scenario, you need to make something like this, uh, which is known as an offset. Or the other offset could be when you want to learn a code width that is uh, learning uh, over another code width. You can have something like this. Uh, you have a code width like uh, which is already uh, running like that. So if you want to run another code width that is running uh, horizontally, then uh, of course it will close that. And uh, we don't want our closing uh, to look like that. So we have to make uh, the code width that we are fixing on top of the other to make an offset. So the offset will eventually look like this. To look like that. So we can have those two types of uh, offset and uh, one is takes uh, two beds. Uh, that is this bed. We can make this bed and that bed and then. And then we have another one that um, uh, may look like that uh, which means that uh, you have to make a bed here. Uh, there is also another uh, bed here and there is this bed. So uh, of course, uh, this one is a more difficult uh, thing to execute, but this one is not that difficult. But uh, all of them uh, should, of course, be made in the site uh, because uh, when we do electrical wire uh, wiring, uh, we need it to look smart and neat. So in both uh, scenarios, it is possible to execute uh, the two uh, offset. If we may start, let's see whether how this one can be done. Uh, I'll still use the code that I had used to make that. So, uh, of course, I just need to insert back my uh, bedding spring. And uh, since I had bent here, I can extend the bedding. Then, I come here and do the other bed and uh, looks like that so and looks good because what we want is something that uh, running flat here and here if it's another service or I'm installing or I'm uh, fixing uh, uh, maybe a CCU or any other box for the purpose of termination I should be able to uh, this part should also be able to lie uh, flat, not that it is running away. So, and I think that one is not bad. So you can have it like so, and uh, looks okay. So if it is running horizontal, it runs okay. So uh, this one is running horizontal, and this one is also running horizontal. And uh, with that, I can be able to make. Uh, this kind of uh, an offset and uh, uh, with that let's try to see whether we can make uh, this uh, this one uh, which is 
uh, a bit uh, more technical. Let, let's try to see how we can make this kind of an offset and I have my piece of code with and this is where I want it to uh, learn over and uh, I don't want to force it uh, I don't want to force it I should be able to make uh, I should be able to make an uh, offset such that it allows this code with that is running like that and this one that is running horizontally uh, to learn together so what I need to do is I do that because uh, that one gives a lift and uh, much better like that. Now it allows uh, the code to uh, go through uh, on top of it. So what I need to do here is to another better embed it again, embed it there, so that my code uh, lands over this one that was already installed and uh, it looks quite good and here it lands flat and here it lands flat and it's able to make this curve uh, that you can see here so uh, that's how you'd make an, uh, an offset that will allow you to maybe learn over another code width or uh, even though it's not necessarily a code width but it can be even be uh, a piece of wood like this and it will still work. But now, uh, when you are making this, uh, uh, th this kind of an offset, you must be aware of the distance here. Must be aware of the distance here. Uh, so that when you make the, uh, the, your estimation, because here you have cannot be able to actually measure very correctly, you just need to use your estimation you'll be able to estimate that uh, the curve that I'm going to do here will be able to allow whatever is uh, passing uh, under here to fit uh, very well. And uh, with that, uh, we have seen that uh, uh, in PVC code width, it is possible to make 
a site made bed uh, you can make angles and you can also make uh, the two types of uh, offsets uh, that are possible and what you just require is a piece of cordwood plus the bedding uh, spring uh, and probably uh, tape measure or uh, and um, the spirit level and with that uh, we come to uh, to the end of the presentation and stay tuned